Hi, my name is Alan Prost and I'm going to demonstrate for you today how to tape an endotracheal tube onto a neonatal patient. Now there's many ways to do this. There's uh, the neo bars, there's lots of different styles and techniques to uh, taping an endotracheal tube, but I'm going to show you one particular one that seems to be fairly effective and will be very useful to you in the labs. Now of course the uh, endotracheal tube would be held uh, in place uh, the entire time for the procedure using some kind of a technique like this with the finger up against the uh, holding the endotracheal tube up against the palate. The other thing of course is that the patient would be uh, being ventilated throughout the entire time. So give me a little bit of leeway on that. Um, the other thing I would point out is that the tapes should be cut uh, to be about, um, oh, I don't know, about six to eight inches in length. They should reach generally from almost ear to ear on the neonatal face. And they're often cut a little narrower so that um, one strip just fits very nicely between the nair and the lip of the patient. All right? So the technique I'm going to show you today is a little bit different. Um, what we're going to do is we have them cut like this, so about uh, maybe a little more than half is like a strip like this and I usually put the cut part right here just right at the nair. Okay, Be careful not to stretch the tapes too much um, because uh, they'll put tension on the baby's face. Now underneath the tapes we often put a little bit of a substance called mastosol or something like that to help them uh, stick really well to the baby's face and to help protect the skin. With the mannequin here that doesn't work very well so I'm not going to put that on there. Now, once we get this in place, the base, la base layer goes on first, and then with the upper tape here, kind of make sure it doesn't occlude the nair, and I'm going to just go once around the endotracheal tube. Be careful not to put too much tension on that tape because it'll pull too much into the lip and cause a little bit of a, a, a pressure sore there up against the lip. So just simply like that. And then on the other side here now, okay, same kind of thing. I'm um, going to put the, the cut part of the tape right up against the nair, just like this, all right, going back t towards the ear. But now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that upper tape and I'm going to go around the tube in this fashion here to hold it again. And again, not too much tension back across. And I could have made these a little bit longer even. I never can have, it's always easier to shorten tapes than it is to lengthen them. And then the bottom part here is just going to be the kind of the, the part that holds it all together like this. So we just put that over top. All right. So we get this nice uh, little bit of taping here. Um, with good coverage all the way back on a good amount of surface area to help hold it securely. Of course, right around here in the nares is a very difficult place to get the tapes to stick a little bit, right? And there's going to be some secretions and saliva and a bit of movement there. That's why it's important to make sure that it sticks well along these sides over here. All right. So we got that base layer that goes across the bottom and then the top part around the endotracheal tube. And then we put on the other tape and we use the top part to go around the endotracheal tube and then the bottom tape to go across them all and kind of hold them all in place just like that. So thank you very much.